Sweaty J joining me here on the Eagles Insider <laughs> Podcast. I love the nickname. Love the, I love the whole sweat. Uh, is that I, I got to tell you, has that always been your, your move? Um, no, nah, I got it. Um, uh, actually, Jalen Hurts, he, like, in 2020, like, at practice, before I was, like, about to do a rep in two minutes, he did the, he did it. Like, I looked at the sideline, and he did, like, this right there. And, like, I got the, you know, the practice in his sack. And uh, ever since then, that's when I that's when I started doing it after um, after the sacks. Now, do players around the league, your friends, do they call you up and say, "Hey, man, that is an awesome sack celebration"? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, um, every, everybody, you know, seems to like it. I'm I'm trying to get it to take off. <laughs> I just got to, you know. Yeah, we got so to market this thing, man. Yeah, that's so why I'm trying to get them sacks, man, so I can, you know, get it on the map because the, the celebration is definitely that. It, it's, it's it. It's fantastic. I, I'm always worried that when when you guys are kicking in the door. Somebody's gonna like blow out their knee with the uh, with the uh, with the sweaty J. There's no no stress, man. There's, oh, yeah. You're not gonna get hey, hurt. It's chill, simple, and, <laughs> and, and, it, and it makes sense. Your game against Tennessee, four total tackles, two sacks, tackles for loss. Do you feel like that was among the best games that you've played in the NFL? You were I mean, doing, yeah, you were just yeah. I, I felt, yeah, definitely. Um, I felt like I played more complete games, even though you know the stats were there. But I don't know. I felt like that was one of the Games that can really help me take off my season, you know, especially after the fact. But yeah, I just, I just told myself, you know, let's let's just be all over the field today. Josh, what is it like to be in the zone? <laughs> Shoot, which um, sounds like you were in. Yeah, I mean, it just happens. You know what I mean? Like certain point of the season, everybody, you know, has their own time, and um, I think, I think this is it. You know what I mean? I've been having a great past few weeks, and um, without even noticing, I'm just like. I just start to see my play rising, you know what I mean? And you don't even notice it when you're in it. It's, it just happens. Why do you think your play has taken the next step? I don't know. I mean, honestly, I think I've been playing. I've been playing well, playing well. I think I mean, it just, I think it just came to me, you know what I mean? I had the opportunities, and it it just, you know, it was, it was my time, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm just guessing it was my time. I came across your draft profile. So before you were drafted, you know, everybody has their <laughs> evaluation of Joshua. Can I read some of it to you and you tell me what you think of it? Yeah, go ahead. All right. I'm going to read the negative stuff, though. All right. Okay? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> you can laugh about it now. Okay, uh, weaknesses. Hits snooze button off the snap and is always the last one out of his stance, which I think is really – like when I watch you now, you're you're the first was, one out of your stance. That was true. That why, was. Why? I, get, um, I didn't have I didn't have that, that – Rush met pass rush mentality, you know. In college, I played a lot of four eye, so I kind of like I didn't understand the importance of you know getting off the you know getting off the ball on time and you know actually getting sacks and stuff like that. So I I was I played a lot of like interior. So when it came to like the rushing, it was like let me just do my job, you know what I'm saying? But it's it's a lot different now, you know what I mean? It's like I got a couple off season under my belt, a lot of training and stuff like that. So I know them I know the importance of it, you know now. So Always being on time, always being fast. I mean, the speed is just going, you know, it's going it's to get you there. How have you developed the get off? Has it been a combination of great coaching and people you're watching BG and just kind of developing yeah. that skill that you really had never really worked on, I guess? Yeah, when I got here, it was like I was still slow off the ball. You know what I mean? Obviously, I mean, it would carry over. But, you know, the coaches were just always in my, you know, always in my ear like, yo, you got to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to go, you know, you got to give, take advantage of it. And, um, and then me watching obviously BG, Derek, they just had that, that, that edge, you know what I mean? That, that rush mentality was like, let's go get it. And then, um, that's when I started to. Interesting. Cause I mean, wow, you've really got it. Frame carries a low, a lean lower body. I mean, you're a lean guy. You're yeah. Javon Curse. <laughs> um, yeah, Freak. coming out. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was small I, for sure. I was like two thirty something maybe. Yeah. Yeah, but I had to put it on. So, but yeah, I was small. I mean, I I don't think that affected how I played the run or anything like that. I still played, you know, tough tough football. Played the run well. Did everything. But yeah, I was small. Motor runs hot and cold. If you don't know that you were like that, that you know how to get off, get off, get off. People would watch you and go, "Hey, he really doesn't play that hard." Yeah, absolutely. And I can see where you know I can see where it comes from. Like, if I didn't I didn't trust my move, so. Now it's like I'm just throwing the move. It's like if it works, you, you just got to believe it works. You know what I mean? So if I'm throwing a speed rush, I'm all the way through, you know, with it. So it's like if I come through on the winning side, you know, we're going to get the sack. But 
If not, then I'll counter back, you know, and then and then fall back. But never, never like decelerate when I don't think I can win. Because in my mind, I'm already thinking I'm, you know, I'm 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 gonna make it happen. So, so I'm always following through for the most part. But yeah, I mean, I can I can see why it looks like it runs hot and cold. If you're stopping at edge because you don't think it's gonna work, then that's what it that's what it looks like. Josh, when we spoke in training camp, we we talked about your Pro Bowl experience last year, and I know I came away with you. You're like you were very humble about it. You were very um, appreciative of it, almost awed by it. Um, do you feel you grew from that experience? Like it was almost like, yeah. hey man, what am I doing here? Kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it came out of nowhere. Like when they told me I was going, I was like, damn, really? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, real. I mean, I, I'm definitely appreciative of it, but I wanna. You know, I want to make it straight up. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I took from it. I felt like I felt like the little dog there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Had other 94s. Had Rob, Rob over there, Rob Quinn. You know, he's here now. So I'm like, damn, I got to, you know, I want to get to where where, uh, where he was. So, um, yeah, definitely. I grew from it. I felt like the little guy. Now I'm trying to I'm trying to make my own. You know what I mean? Is your, has your mentality changed this year? I mean, do you feel yeah. like the big oh, yeah. guy? You're Absolutely. the big dog. You're the hunting dog no, now. I do. I do. Most definitely. Like I'm. I'm like I said. I'm trying to get it, man. And um, I feel like it's it's coming into my time. Last couple of weeks, I've been good. I'm just gonna keep it going. 